Okay, we could go to Beggar's Lane. There's some wooden coffers. Uh, even in the dark, this battered coffer didn't go unnoticed by looters. Such brute force. Okay, there's a manhole cover. Nothing but the dark and some rats to keep my company uh, to keep me company beneath the uh, that manhole cover. Moldy crate. Goodness, not even mold could keep scavengers from getting their fists and battering tools dirty. Okay. Let's see. Let's march down the stairs. Effectuator. Hmm, something shifting within me. Uh, can't be my gears acting up. No, it's something else. Something akin to music. Is it... Is it the Lament configuration? Because, like, in Hellraiser, that thing plays music before everything goes to hell. No, it's something else, something akin to music. Music? Why, yes, it's that box Teddy installed in us. Um, it appears I've solved a piece of an arcane puzzle. Yes, I am hearing... Uh, yes, am I hearing this right? That sinister melody reverberating within us. We must be closer to unlocking its secrets. No, I'd rather steer myself away from whatever's beckoning me over. This is an unneeded waste of my resources and time. Oh, we don't have access to our inventory. Interesting. Ah, but we have this. Um, uh, determination core, lament configuration. A most peculiar self-solving puzzle box of unknown origin. Um... Is it playing more as we move on, or is it just gonna do that at random intervals? Uh, it looks well kept. Better not look inside. Its owner might be most perturbed by the intrusion. There's the furnace automaton. Greetings, handsome. How can Hera be of service? Fellow automaton, will you join me and become independent from oppressive meatbags? Tee hee, how gallant of you. Sadly, I am not programmed to shirk my duties. I wish you good luck to convincing, uh, good luck in convincing other automatons. How strange. It seems that this one here, uh, this one is here of her own volition. Indeed, it's curious that she seems to have volition. Okay, the furnace, let's take a look at it. The furnace is considerably smaller than uh, one would assume. Uh, given its role in providing heat to this entire section of London. Let's go to the sewers. See if we can find anything down here. Anything useful. This extensive network of tunnels and vaulted chambers provides access to London's sewers, an unmapped labyrinth of brick walls and filthy canals. This is by reputation a dark and dangerous area, but to you, the bite of a cane rat would only result in some chipped rodent teeth and a great deal of squeaking, though to fall into the liquid waste could prove a catastrophe for you, just as it would for a human. You remind yourself to be careful while navigating in the low light and to watch out for what some term unsavory elements, criminals and other ne'er-do-wells who uh, use these grim corridors for their business. Okay, there's a Block passage, dead end, uh, highly, po uh, highly probable that a patrolman has set, uh, set this up so that mischievous thugs wouldn't try to find a shortcut. Probability 49%. Okay, let's keep going then. See if there's anything else. Oh, what's that over here? Ah, we can reach this now. Okay. We could have reached this earlier probably as well. I just didn't see it. I have, I didn't spot it. Maybe um, if there's something cool in there, maybe we have... Um, maybe we could uh, go here with Atticus at some point. If this was propelled forcefully towards a stone wall, the wall would likely sustain more, uh, more serious damage than the box. There's a teddy. A teddy, I said. Oh look, another teddy. Just as lonesome as the one roaming the streets above. Bottles. 
Sewers are most unpleasant places. Thankfully, they appear to contain pleasant distractions, such as these discarded bits of rubbish. And a bedroll. Uh, what a strange spot for workers to rest in. Perhaps this mat belongs to someone in hiding. Yes, we've met that person with Atticus. Okay, let's keep going then. Everything looks so different with our... Uh, with our... Um, Sight, I suppose, with the robot vision. Wooden barrel over here. Okay, come on. Stop, 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 stop. Otto, please stop. Please stop. Uh, and take a look at the wooden barrel. Uh, substance is leaking out of that barrel. Perhaps I should locate a component which would enable olfactory sensation so that I may, re uh, may, retu may return and test the taste of sewer barrels. Sounds like a great idea. Uh, let's see if there's anything inside here. There's a pool of blood. A navy locker. A liquid spreading from underneath that container. Likely its owner stocked up for a long shift. A pool of blood. That mess is unlikely to have stemmed from a workplace accident. Uh, control panels. The needles on these gauges look steady. How long will the, ma will the machines function without a panel operator? Uh, a crank handle. No need to pull it though. Uh, with my high pressure regulator I could easily turn this crank. Though there's no need to do so right now. Uh, what with the water levels having already been lowered. Yes, uh, that's fair. Let's keep going then. And let's go down here. All right, over there, there's uh, the way up to Beggar's Lane and nothing else. We could go into the pump house maybe. Yes, we can. Though I don't know if there's anything in there. But there's new flavor text for, uh, for the location card. Uh, the pump house is one of the strangest places you've visited. The pounding of huge unseen pistons and the inescapable hiss of steam hits your senses from all sides. The thrum you heard earlier is very uh, is very loud here. You can feel it vibrating in your actuators. And you wonder if you'll get a chance to see its source. Usually, you are keen to examine any kind of mechanical contraption, but the machines here are violent and intimidating. You, uh, you surmise uh, from its name and the countless pipes connecting it to the sewers that the pump house must be a water and sewage pumping facility. That would track. There's a trap point. Uh, here's one of the traps we set out for the mutant monster. Uh, might as well take it. Yes, let's take that. Uh, can't leave it lying around like that. Someone could get hurt stepping into it. That is fair. There's a severed arm. Can I take that as well? It seems whoever cleaned up the bodies overlooked this severed limb. Uh, it's a pity humans are so fragile. If that was my arm, Teddy would have me fixed up by the end of the day. Can we go up here? And if so, is there a point to it? We can, and no, there's not. Okay, that's fine. Not everything needs a point to it. There's the raised platform. Let's just examine it real quick. The body of Sucker Jones has been removed and the copious amounts of blood mostly mopped up. Reflect on what happened here. Even though the mutant was massive, Teddy put him down with a single shot. Yes, but does that make him a skilled killer or just another organic being who knows how to take advantage of his fellow man? Control panel. Uh, machines are like musical instruments. It takes dexterity and good timing to use them well. And over here, we have a trap point. Uh, here's one of the traps we set for the mutant monster. And we're gonna take it. Can't leave it lying around. Someone might get hurt. We don't have access to our inventory though, and here's the secret distillery. Uh, Mr. Teddy tried doing the right thing, but did he have to go that far? Eh, why not? I mean, why not go that far? Anything to be a thorn in Molly O'Malley's uh, side, because I don't like her. Doing like dog fights and all that. Not a fan of stuff like that. Okay, let's just go up to Beggar's Lane. And see where we go from here. Okay. We don't have access to the map like that. Interesting. Okay. Missing poster. 
Missing orphans. Being small and without loved ones is certainly a disadvantage here in London. There's old socks. Uh, luckily, we don't have an olfactory system. Uh, what a curious garment. Two tiny uh, linen bags for covering the feet. I fail to understand their purpose. Okay. There's the overground... Oh, the masked stranger. Why, hello there, Otto. Scanning. Human silhouette. Identity concealed. Individual. Unrecognized. Hello, sir. If you were to lower your mask, I'm certain I would remember you. You wouldn't know my face even if I removed the mask. We haven't met. Then how were you able to retrieve my name from memory? I am an, I am an acquaintance of your master. Then I'm glad to meet you. Uh, Mr. Teddy is not my master. He's a close friend. Let's go with the second one. My, that is news. Uh, then you're your own master roaming the streets of London. Congratulations. About time we got that sorted. Mr. Redgrave has really accomplished something with you. A uh, compliment is a rare thing for an automaton to receive, but I'm unsure how to interpret it uh, coming from this stranger. Uh, high pressure regulator, tell him about your specs. Uh, find out how he knows Mr. Teddy. Let's, let's, um, let's ask. No, I think we can do that after that. Tell him about the specs. Mr. Teddy has recently upgraded my capacity for moving heavy objects. That means I'm strong, so if you have any intention of harming me, I recommend you think twice. Not to worry, Otto. I only want the best for you. Uh, conversing with this person is incredibly strange. Interfacing data is being accrued at a high rate. Find out how, uh, how he knows Mr. Teddy. How do you know Mr. Teddy? I know him through his military record and by reputation mostly. Did you know that in addition to his many other skills, Theodore Redgrave was once a decorated soldier of the Empire? Mr. Teddy is quite handy with weapons, particularly firearms. He is, yes. Uh, Redgrave started his career digging tunnels and setting explosives, a complex and dangerous job, not for the easily spooked. He served the crown for many years overseas. How does a person serve a crown? Forgive me, crown in this case stands for Her Majesty the Queen. Uh, retrieving data bank for British politics. Queen Victoria? Uh, that's the one. Unfortunately, Mr. Redgrave's tragic experience in uh, Zululand saw him leave the Queen's service. You see, I have closely studied your master's past and present, and I must say I'm impressed. Zululand is just, yeah, okay, the Republic of Zulu Nations, an African Republic of substantial powers, currently uh, consisting of much of Southern Africa, as well as various territories in North and South America, including the Caribbean, uh, Haiti, and uh, Grenada. Okay, interesting. Um, but what is your reason for observing Mr. Teddy so closely? Yes, there's something suspicious about a man hiding behind a mask. A very astute question. I am ascertaining Mr. Redgrave's skills, you see. I may have an important job for him soon. Oh, will you have a job for me also? You know, I believe I will. Wait, how will I recognize you? I haven't seen your face and I do not, your, uh, I do not know your name. Off he goes, very suspicious. Yep. That guy's always suspicious, but I don't think he's a villain. The window is dark, even with merchandise within. Perhaps it isn't yet ready for the public. Uh, this location is more than familiar. Teddy's friend, Mr. Dante, has a wide variety of uh, ticking and talking objects inside. Very nice. There's a wagon. Uh, this type... Uh, this is a type of uh, conveyance for travel or moving cargo, typically rigged to one or more horses. Overground station, can we go there or... Uh, this is where folks disappear and reappear somewhere else. Okay, maybe later. Let's go into the... Um, what's it called? The um, Palladium first. Uh, yeah, we should... F the quest, It's a Living, takes us to Sorry Square, so I'm gonna go there later. Let's go into the Palladium first, see who we can meet in there. I mean, I'm sure some people will recognize Otto. 
Uh, people hold soft and shiny things in high regard. That must be why they are expensive. And if your deduction is accurate, the palladium must be a very expensive venue, for plush carpets and polished metals are to be seen on all surfaces. Why, even the surface of the gleaming tables is covered, with, uh, is covered in velvet, as if cards, dice and chips need comfort. Bizarre. From what you know of the games of chance on offer, they rely upon a profound ignorance of mathematics. This is one area in which you are absolutely confident in your superiority. Yeah, probably true. Uh, promo poster? Come see the sultry songstress. Be bamboozled by bawdy ballads and dazzled by delightful dirges. Every Friday at the Palladium. Bamboozled, to be confused and taken advantage of. Dazzled, a temporary blindness. This appears to be an advertisement, but why would customers be interested in being blinded and tricked? Oh, I know what's going on here. The poet opened with a loquacious uh, sort of prose. Uh, not quite right. Regardless, I should heed a sound-minded screed rather than being word-played. Okay. Coat check. Uh, some of the most expensive coats can hardly keep flesh warm during winter. Then again, uh, fashion is more about form than function. Okay, there's a water closet. Don't mind me, just an automaton going to the toilet. Uh, by my calculation, an extremely high amount of liquid and other excesses of uh, blooded creatures are relieved here. An amount so high it's essentially uncountable. That is accurate. Um, okay, there's the tables, there's a statue. Let's take a look at that stuff first before we go, before we go into conversations. All oh, right, there's automatons here. Cards and dice are shackles of a different sort. But we can't talk to the... No, there's one dealer we can talk to maybe. Such elaborate rules for mere card games. Most worthy of analysis. Uh, let's take a look at the statue first. At least uh, 72 cubic feet of marble were needed for that statue. Okay, what's that in uh, in cubic meters? So I know what that means. I know like from uh, cubic feet to cubic, uh, not cubic, square feet to square meters, it's approximately times 10 uh, from, from, from meters to feet. Like 10 square meters are, are approximately 100 square feet not exactly of course but you know as an estimation but now cubic it's a whole different deal as enormous as this hunk of stone is i believe we could move it all on our own if we wanted to whist dealer uh, this game relies on two pairs of opposing players in other words it's played with a partner i would hope my partner would have at least a basic understanding of statistics West requires four players or more, uh, four players, no more, no less. I, uh, are you expecting three friends to join, uh, to join you? I'm here alone. Uh, do you yearn for independence? West requires two opposing pairs of players. Each of the two teams tries to score points by taking any trick in, access, in excess of six. The partnership with the most points wins the game. I believe that counts as a no. Oh well, take care now. Uh, that did not go well, but it doesn't mean we should lose hard. Okay, let's keep going then. I'm just worried about the lament configuration still. The thing that, uh, you know, it, it started to chime. That's just not a good sign in this case. It, it, it's really unfortunate that I'm, that I'm a big fan of Hellraiser, so... <laughs> So that has me actually worried. Oh, there's Madame Zora, I think. This microphone is finally made, definitely conductive to making a voice resonate. Okay. Lefty Braun, fireplace, uh, barmaid, and the morose woman. Barmaid. Hello, love. Uh, what can dear Clementine get, um, do for you? Uh, tell her what you can... Uh, what you can do for her. Salutations, fair minotaur lady. My name's Otto, and I would be eager to lend my services to your fine establishment. Services? You mean working at the bar? Um, 
Insist on your qualifications. I have been in many such venues and am well versed in barroom goings on. I can deftly deliver all manners of fermented tonics and I am fully capable of interfacing both socially and physically should the need arise. No disrespect love, but you hardly have the tongue or brawn to keep customers entertained and in check. Her solitude suggests a discernment when it comes to choosing colleagues. Truthfully, I prefer having co-workers who gladly provide fermented tonics uh, for their own gobs too. <laughs> Sadly, I do not imbibe. Apologies, but I can't meet that standard uh, given my lack of internal storage apparatus for processing this institution's wares. You're missing out. Perhaps non-alcoholic -al uh, fluids qualify? That said, I am uh, partial to... Uh, con uh, it's cognac, but cog... The pun works better when you read it than when you say it out loud. You, you, you can read it right here, cog in, in caps and then nag, cognac, uh, which is poured annually into my fuel tank each creation day. Oh, okay, birthday. An automaton's first day of operation. Oh, uh, what, uh, what is that? Uh, oh, when is that? The 29th of February. I hope uh, you don't run out of juice before then. I'm afraid we don't keep it in stock. Okay, thanks Clementine. Uh, Lefty Braun. I have met this person while with Mr. Teddy. Designation Lefty Braun. Uh, Miss Lefty, good day. It's just Lefty, my tin friend. Uh, what's on your mind today? Um, I guess the robot can, can comment on the accent, I, I suppose. I have noticed that uh, your enunciation of certain words, and in other cases the vocabulary itself, are not quite the same as London's other denizens. Are you saying you can now understand me, uh, my wee robot friend? Uh, yes. Not precisely, no, but it does take me... Uh, not precisely, no, but it does take me longer to pass your particular uh, diction. Why is your speech different? Dinner, Din tell me you've ne heard of the most wonderful uh, county on earth. I hail from Scotland, Otto, and there's nothing wrong with my speech. It's the Rody English who've, uh, who've gone and corrupted it uh, all to hell. Uh, this new data is very interesting. I'm, I'm not certain her explanation is entirely truthful. Um, are you a gambler, Lefty? Uh, be times I am, yeah, but that's no way to make a living. Too many oops and uh, too many oops and doons. Do they say oops? I I, I, I don't know. Oops, oops. I, Scottish is hard, man. Scottish is hard. Um, let's tell her we're looking for work. I have been searching far and wide for employment, for I wish to become self-sufficient. That's smart, Otto. Uh, there's but one person in the whole world you can always count on, and that's yourself. Uh, I shall be on my way now, Lefty. I go with God, little one. Okay, the fireplace. There are uh, 47,000 BTUs coming off that half. I shan't get any closer. A British thermal unit, a measure of heat. Oh, interesting. Was that ever a real thing or is that invented for the game? I don't know.